the idea of this whole base was to like put all buildings on top and put all the belts under the floor. Um, back then it was also like a little bit of performance issue, <laughs> which was uh, scenario four or scenario. Four. Um, I mean in update four, but this is all fixed and it's. I just want to do it so it looks like clean. Um, this was my starting point, as you can see. It's still ugly, um, but most of it, uh, this is actually like the last things I still have to remove, right? I will first sh give a short tour. Uh, we were standing on the on this factory, which makes um, how do you call it? Stuff. I cannot. Glycerine or something it was called. Yo, black powder. Also okay. So it all started here. Um, we got some copper. We got some iron. Mines here. And it's all transferred into these big huge uh, towers. And I have two of them, one for raw iron and one for raw copper. And what I'm making here is just uh, steel ingot as much as possible as I can. And there are also some uh, foundries here, uh, which makes more steel ingots. Uh, this is the copper section. Does basically the same, putting raw ore into copper ingots. So we have a good view of the base here. The big building there is actually the main base. It's where I produce uh, basically all uh, well let's say the the, the third production process uh, like chips motors um, basically everything that we need for the big elevator here um, this is the concrete plant or the concrete factory can take a quick look inside There's some concrete miners in it. Provinces. Um, this is where I make um, steel pipes and steel plates. It's in this building. Oh, I accidentally were launched on the belt here. So this is the research. Um, and it can lead me to anywhere basically. So we have a tube or to go to the storage, we have a tube to go to the main base west station and we have a tube to go to the coal energy plant uh, so here is the copper factory it creates everything related to copper like wires more wires and uh, I don't actually know how these things are called uh, copper p copper powder which is basically only needed for some elevator stuff which I don't need a lot of 
uh, here behind you, you see my storage. So it basically gets all the storage from the whole base, from there, from there, well basically from everywhere. It converts it through these conveyors all to here. So I have a nice stash where I can get uh, stuff from. So I have a container here. Everything I that I put in this container will go to my shopping train, which is in the main base west, which is right over there. And for the elevator, I have a storage container here. Everything you put in here will be transported to the elevator. Uh, you can see here all the inputs of the belt. Nice underground, under the floor. So let's go to um, the, mayor, the to uh, to the train station, the east one. There's also a west one. The smaller one is in the east. This is the shopping train. There was a kind of accident here because in I think update 7 they put some mountains here and a part of the station was covered in these mountains. Uh, there's also an old oil base here which is still in use. As you can see here uh, everything that is pink will go to the to these things here, which create tickets for me. The awesome sink. But as you can see, there is a small little problem here, which is that a part of my base is under this huge mountain and waterfall. So I never can get to here anymore which is fine it works don't touch it and it will continue working In the distance you can see my uh, fuel, my other uh, fuel and fluid processing plants. We will go there later. Um, this has contains fuel and is used for my power plant, my fuel power plants. Oh, one turned off. But that's fine. I have enough power. Uh, below this you can see the rest of the station.
So now we are here. Let's pick the train. So this is the West train station. We're going to do a loop. Uh, first we can look at this coal power plant here. It's one of my first power plants, one of the biggest. Yeah, it's the biggest. With some nice generators above trains. With some nice yellow lighting, which is actually a bug in the game at some point. They all became yellow and I was too lazy to replace them again. Let's see if I can make this. Uh, yes, I can. Let's take the through line, station bypass. a bit busy here so you always have to watch out that there's no train coming here otherwise you have disaster so we are now underway to the second fluid and basically everything that uses raw oil is processed there some walkways here nice views so we also have like shortcuts to the main things that we have there let's first quickly go to the fabric factory As you can guess, fabric is created here, and then swarm ported upwards, and I basically only use it for um, for the masks that you need for um, the gas masks that you need for gas gas. So this goes to the rooftops and you can see all the stored oil here, the raw oil. And 
There's some plastic going to the main base. So it transports all these raw uh, raw oil from all the miners out here to here. So I have some buffer when things go wrong. Below the uh, the the fabric factory, as you can see. So here is where plastic is being created and fuel. There's like fuel in here. Not enough, but there's fuel. Some heavy oil residue also used to make more fuel. And then it fills this buffer. And then I can use it for my second um, fuel power plant. Where we actually have still space to add more if I wanted to. Here's some polymer resin being created. I forgot where I need it for, but... Also, some room here to still expand. Maybe let's take the tube, which is not very well positioned, but it works. So here we are at arrivals. Here's my shopping parking place, but we will skip it this time. Because we will go into the loop. Which is here on the right.
Oh. I should have picked the parking spot, but... Oh well. Like the parking spot was actually here. Because now I'm blocking this train, which is not great. Let's unblock him. So that is the nitrogen train, which brings nitrogen for some factories that are here. Let's see if I can park it in the right spot, that will be great. Okay, we will fix this later. Creating a mess. There are some nitric acid. I build these things up this high so I don't have to worry about pumps and stuff. So it's just flowing downwards, right? So this is the main base. On the top floor there's not a lot happening, but on these there is. Let's start from the bottom. So, as you can see here, this is the center. It has all these belts going up. And here also we have some nice system. So here at, this, uh, at these signs you can see what is being created on floor 1. So that is modular frames, stators and rotors. And here it's encased, versatile, smart things, automated wiring. Also not, also still some space on this floor. You see all the screws coming in from the screw factory over there. Again, go to the next floor. So this is the Im important floor because this makes a lot of stuff for fixing the elevator. And especially this one. The assembly director system it was the one it took the most time to create because it's being created here. I only have one factory with some speed ups in it, but like all these things that are required to create it, it takes so long. But if you if I put two of them here, I need to expand everything, which is why this floor is already full, so I cannot really <laughs> expand it further. So this is another floor where a lot of things are created. Chips, very important. You never can have enough of those. This is why I have two bases that produce plastic. So this, <laughs> this, this belt or conveyor belt will always be full.
There are a nice few. The screw factory over there. This is the heavy steel factory. Here below. We will visit that later when we go down again. And this is... I don't remember. I think it's... Iron plates, I think. And this is the top floor again. So let's go down a little bit. See what is there. This is the whole, my main area for research. It's getting dark here. So this is, here I put my trash and it will instantly go to up here to the awesome sink. Yeah, it's an iron plate factory. <laughs> I remembered correctly. So this is the reinforced plate factory. It has two doors. They are not opening at the same time, unfortunately, but also need a lot of screws. And that is why we have the Screw You factory with a nice kind of screw symbol I tried to create, but maybe I failed. So you can see a lot of screws being made here. And this was not really enough. Um, and this is why some of the screws are coming from that station over there. Which comes from way over that rocket over there, that large building. Which we will visit later. This is actually like a cool place to spot trains. Ooh. Because there are like constantly trains leaving the station, entering the station. There's the loop again where we came from. It is not actually where I wanted to go, but okay. Some light would be nice. This is the blueprint factory, or the blueprint factory, blueprint creator. Added some stairs so I could really um, view it from all angles, let's say. And that is, especially before I had this flying thing, it was very annoying if you don't have it. So 
so let's stop this episode and let's do the rest in another episode until it's well i hopefully light again and then we will visit um the aluminium base and the nuclear uh, the nuclear part of the base which is a little bit farther away from here so see you then bye